Mmm, <laughs> that's good. That is good, isn't it? Mm. You see my mug rag? <laughs> Can you tell the ginger is in there? Yes, you get a little taste of something. Little something. Zinger, it, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, now that you mentioned it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very good. Okay. okay. Some more of that. <laughs> it's also good for you, ginger. Oh yes, yeah, really, yes. really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three, two, one. Hi everyone! We're the Sunshine Stitchers. I'm EJ. Oh. Oh. EJ. <laughs> Sorry. Let's not do that again. Nah. <laughs> Let's do it again. Okay. Three, two, one. Hi everybody! We're the Sunshine Stitchers. I'm EJ. And I'm Deb. Yes, Deb South Florida Stitches. Woo woo! And I'm Shelia. So we are so happy that Deb is with us today. It's been a, a long time. Oh, yes. It really has. It's been a really long time. Yeah. Deb is, is happy to be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so we are just really excited. You should see Yay. this table. Oh my table. goodness. It's a good thing we're at a dining room table with Cutting. one extension in. And and um, because it is just loaded with all kinds of. I'm taking a picture so I can insert it. Oh, the three of us. Of oh, the table. Oh, the table. Oh. <laughs> okay. Boom. Perfect. So all today's right. libation. Oh yes. We haven't had a libation in a couple of weeks, but today's libation is orange juice with ginger. Mm. Um, mimosa. Yeah. And uh, hear us, hear us out, hear us out. This is a healthy drink. This is a very oh, healthy drink. Yes. Yeah. All that ginger. Oh, ginger. Man, ginger is really good for you. Ginger is has been known through the centuries. Correct. To have medicinal qualities. Correct. And so yes, we are being medicinally boosted our our immune system being right. boosted right yeah. now you know what i mean yeah, ginger and ginger you got the um, fruit with fruit. the orange juice mm -hmm. and the alcohol is preserving whatever you need preserved uh, all hey, of me hey. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to our welcome channel which yes. actually is about counted cross stitch in case you're trying to figure that part out <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're glad that, as I always, every week, I'm always um, trying to express to you how much oh we appreciate the fact that you're taking some of your time to spend with us. Yes. And we hope that you feel that your time has been well spent. Oh, yeah, I love that. We always start out with some of our comments from the previous, previous. video, mm -hmm. mostly the previous video, but sometimes we have several folks who are going back and watching from the beginning and Ooh, every now and then wow. we'll make a comment on an older video and where really? i have a problem it, it is a problem it's not a challenge it's a problem because they'll ask a question <laughs> about an older video and i'm sitting there i don't remember that <laughs> so just to say if you're going back and watching our older videos and you have i'm a probably question, stitching the same thing yeah <laughs> Let's be, let's be truthful. The I'm only, the same thing. The only thing I can recommend is to keep watching uh, because yeah. maybe that somebody else okay, has asked that question yeah. and we answered it in a following Correct. video. Correct. Because honestly, that's, uh, that's a yeah. good point. It's long gone. Yeah. I write everything down and you know, sometimes people, you, things will come up yeah. and I have to go back through my book and previous videos to see, see. my notes to see because... Yeah, because this is her it. second. This is my second, second composition, composition book. book. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. And yes. You know those are hundred pages, yeah. two hundred sheets, or one hundred yes. sheets, two hundred pages. That's yeah. right. Wow. Yeah. So, first, I just want to um, respond to everybody's concern about the quality of last week's video. Oh. We recorded on my surface, which actually was pretty good in terms of film quality. I agree. Oh, yeah. I have a professional video editor 
I am not professional. <laughs> I forgot the initial setup step, which is to tell the editor the, to, the size of the video. Yeah. I went right into putting the yeah. pieces together and, and then having it put everything yeah. together and, and yes, no. So that's why we were all off. It was not appropriately sized. Size, yeah. And at the end, my picture of my finish, Be the Good, yeah, was yes. like, yeah. because I forgot to resize the photo. We'll, we'll insert it at the end of this video. A, mm. a, 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 a photo. Of the finish, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I have it on my iPad, which we can airdrop to your iPhone, and we know that that's already compatible because you do that all the time. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, technology. Because I film when we, I film on my camera, on my iPhone, mm -hmm. and then what I do is airdrop the video to the um, Mac. Mac. And then we edit with iMovie, I, I movie, which is did, 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 no problem. And we've been doing that from the beginning pretty yeah. much on iMovie. So, I mean, EJ can did, 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 literally did, 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 on iMovie. Me on the uh, professional the pro. editor, it, it takes yeah. a bit. It yeah. takes a bit. But yeah. I want to learn how to do that one because the quality is really good with the Surface. It's, it's, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good. Got to say yeah. that Microsoft Surface, little but mighty. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted yes. to thank you all for your patience, and I appreciate your understanding. Yes. Uh, with with that video, and yes, I did kind of keep rolling. Off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like she's she's there and then she's not. Like she's there and then oh she's not. Even with all of that being said, I still had a tendency to do that. I know, I know. So and and once I realized that I had forgotten that initial step, mm -hmm. there was no going back. There was no going back. It it takes everybody who does floss two. I know has commented from time to time the hours yeah. it takes to actually have the video what they call rendered mm -hmm. which is where they take all the bits and pieces and puts it together into a continuous film yes essentially and it takes hours, hours. and mm -hmm. then uploading it to YouTube takes hours Another hours and yeah. it's not so much that you're doing anything because honestly I sit and watch TV and stitch mm -hmm. well, but it's the constant attention making thing, sure making everything sure is moving nothing has happened correct yeah yeah. So, but it's good, all good. Mm -hmm. We've had a couple of questions about where are my cats. Oh, they don't come. Yeah, no, they are. In fact, they were lounging mm -hmm. here up until they heard my phone when you hit the mm -hmm. button at the gate. They know. They know that somebody's sound, coming, mm -hmm. and they, they hightail they it. Took off. They mm -hmm. took off. So, <laughs> and while Joe Robinette used to be very inquisitive mm -hmm. like he was when we did yeah. our whip yeah yeah. <laughs> um, yeah yeah he's become a little bit more standoffish yeah as he's gotten older yeah so he's becoming a, that's what cats do no yeah they yeah do. they do you, you'll probably see um lebron walking yeah. like when he if he's hungry yeah you'll see him walking maybe he'll just kind of slowly walk yeah through. behind yeah, yeah. stealth mode <laughs> and we can hear him crunch, crunch, and then lap, lap, and then still move back. <laughs> a lot of comments, more, uh, again, about tomatoes and mm -hmm. how you really, at some point, need to be brave, suck it up, and have a tomato off the vine. You, you like tomatoes, Deb? I love tomatoes, and um, when we when I lived up north, I would we would grow all kinds of vegetables and. A tomato, ripe tomato. Oh, delicious! Yeah, I don't know where. It's can, a different taste. Like, well, like, what, what would you equate the taste to? It's sweet. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. um. It's a fruit. It's, it's fresh. It's fresh and sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very refreshing. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. my grandmother back in the day, mm -hmm. when I was very young, so you know. I don't even know. Did we have cars then? Whatever. What? Um, before Henry Ford? 
Wow! <laughs> um, running boards, I don't know. Anyway, I actually fell out of a car in her garage once. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> She used to have the fresh strawberries, um, sorry, tomatoes. strawberries, but tomatoes, mm -hmm. fresh tomatoes, mm -hmm. and she put garlic salt on them. Oh. And I got hooked on that yeah. since a little girl. Yeah. So when I get fresh tomatoes, cut them up, yeah. not in a salad, just throw some garlic salt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So awesome. Yes, yes, yes. So one, one day we'll have to, we'll take the, the seeds out so you can just, just taste yeah, taste. Yeah, and I, I want it all. That has I, come right off the vine. I gotta have the whole thing. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah. quibble. I want the whole thing. But but EJ, we mm. gotta take this in baby steps. Okay, I get that. But mm. maybe leave one slice whole. Yeah, so she, she you would have to blindfold her so she can see. It. <laughs> but clearly, clearly, the the. Every, and, and you know, it's like people like tomatoes. I'm yeah. like, what do you yeah, like I mean, about yeah. tomatoes? They yeah. really like tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're so delicious. Some people but... have them with sugar, some people have them with salt, salt and pepper, garlic, salt. Oh, so good. But th this week's comments, so many people mentioned bacon, lettuce, and tomatoes. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait a minute. I like that. That's good. You can do that? Yes. yes. It had bacon. Yeah. Oh. It has mayonnaise. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You don't taste the tomato. Uh, if it's good, you do. Yeah, you do. If it's a, if if it's it's a good tomato. If it's vine ripened. Yeah, all that comes together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like a BLT. Get vine ripened. More B than anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bacon sandwich. <laughs> These days, I do turkey bacon. I don't do Oh, it. the turkey bacon, the uncured, the fat the, ones. But yeah, thick, <gasps> thick. They're so good. I call it slab. Oh, that's so good. Have you ever had turkey bacon? I have, and what I prefer is the the pre cooked bacon, like Oscar Mayer has. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That stuff is real low in fat. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. and much less calories. Okay, because the turkey bacon. Yeah, they the regular turkey bacon. Then, then maybe even regular turkey bacon, because I do. Um, Weight Watchers points, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. three pieces of that bacon, it's only two points. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, good. That's, okay. Good. That's, That's a good size sandwich. Yeah, 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 yeah right? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. yeah. Um, so, we had a couple of recommendations, EJ, yes. for your E. E? Yes. Um, elegant Pumpkin. From Caesar Stitch, Stitch, yes, because oh. she's been, you know, she's, yeah. a, she's, she's been right a... On it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> And then, uh, I think we started it together, did we not? Yes. Oh. And then a, okay. a couple people recommended the pineapple because of the welcome. Yes. The E, everyone welcome. Correct. And also for W for welcome. Yes, I like that. I did write that down. Yeah. I have to um, go in the E, go look at the E. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we had uh, wonderful recommendations for names to add to women of honor. By mm -hmm. Rebel Stitcher, uh huh. Uh, Catherine Johnson. Oh yes. And in fact, I yes, I am adding her. Yes, I am adding yes. her. Yes, Catherine Johnson. If you saw the movie Numbers, yeah. Uh, figures. figures. Hidden figures. Hidden figures. Yes, I'm sorry. I hidden didn't... figures. Yeah, hidden figures. We took the kids for um for field trip to oh. see the movie. Okay. Fantastic. Movie. Yeah. The That's students, it. not. My nieces, but just Taraji yeah. P. Henson nailed yeah. everybody in that movie. Oh my goodness! So yes, good. just just uh, was that Kevin Costner? Kevin Costner, yes. Was yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. He was ex. I mean, just yeah. really um, the whole story. So that was really about Kevin Costner. Go Johnson. check it out if you haven't. Um, definitely adding her, mm -hmm. but we also had uh, recommendations. Serena Williams. Oh yes, did you? Oh, chills. Um, yeah, uh, Nitya suggested Greta Thunberg. She's the young lady, the I environmentalist. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah. I, see, I knew that name. Uh, somebody yeah. said Michelle Obama. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes. So, I mean, triple yes. And I thought it was. It's going to be a long. It's going to be like. I was getting ready to say, this is going to look like a banner. Yes. But, you know, but I'm, I'm so going to call it quits at one more band. <laughs> Okay, so that's four names. The whole band four controversy, guys. <laughs> it was I was I was thinking about it. Yes, long and hard, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, are the are the lines of the names 
totally encircled by border. Yes. Yes. Isn't that called a cartouche? I don't know what a, I don't know what a cartouche is. A cartouche? Isn't it a, isn't I, a cartouche? I thought that was a green. I thought that was Egyptian. <laughs> Inside of a sampler, when you have like wording uh -huh. um, outlined by border, what they call that inside of a sampler, I think is called a cartouche. Somebody can, can let me know. I'm yes. not so sure if this qualifies because it's more like... Well, the names are within the yeah. container, so to speak. Yeah, they are. They are within a container. Now, the, the little circles with the with the um, initials, yes. yeah. you might be able to call that a cartouche. I don't know oh. if you can call... Oh. The other things the are cartouche. cartouche. But but with the border around Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. But so this So maybe is the a band. other bands. Yeah, that's and a, the individual name. Yes, those are bands. I would say. Like rows. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So I'm adding an entirely additional band. band. Correct. And to be on the safe side, I calculated it to be about a hundred stitches. Oh wow! The, the band, band the is a hundred stitches. I added a hundred okay. stitches to Lower. the mm -hmm. um, to the stitch length. Okay. So rather than two ninety, I calculated it at three ninety. Gotcha. Okay. Look at her doing calculations. Well, that's okay. nice. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I actually took the chart and and you know counted count. up the yeah the thingies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I added a little more. Cool. And Thank then I you. bought a little more. So yes. <laughs> so I would. I know I've got plenty. Basically, yes. I bought like a fat half, so I've got 36 inches. Right. So. Yes. So you can go. I can go. I can go. But I'm only adding one band. One band. Because, yeah. So that's very exciting. Very cool. exciting. And this is here because we've got discussion later, so that's good. Discuss. So thank you. Those names. I mean, so yes. many names. So anybody who's considering doing Women of Honor... Mm -hmm. Please add names to your piece. Sure. Add another band or, re uh, or replace. Um, change the names. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, to to make it yours to mm -hmm. personalize it. Yeah, I, 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 you could be a modifier as well. Very <laughs> excited about this. I'm very excited. Um, pause to stitch. Oh, this was this is probably my last story on this topic but it was too cute not to share okay um her cousin randy mm -hmm. when he was a little boy he used to he was very mischievous he used to get into everything mm -hmm. everything and he was with his um mother in a store one day and a lady asked him you know what is your name little boy and he says, my name is Randy No-No. <laughs> I thought that was too cute. That's adorable. <laughs> oh, that was worth sharing. No, I, I actually no, have no, a no. story of my own, of course. Mm -hmm. I always have a story about something. <laughs> this one is my sister's story, though, but... I was born first, we're 13 months apart. Mm -hmm. My dad, okay, he's 24 now. He's got two little girls. And my sister, when he would ask her what her name is, mm -hmm. she would say, well, my name is Debbie, I mean Kathy. <laughs> Iguana story. So we clarified. <laughs> Ooh, Thank you, Christine E. And, and my Tuesday Stitch group, mm -hmm. who is, I think she's a master gardener. I think she oh. took classes and she's got been certified as oh, a wow. master gardener. Okay. And so we had the discussion. So my bush back here is not a hibiscus, it's a bougainvillea. Oh. Hence the big thorns, because she says, yeah, because hibiscus doesn't have thorns, right? 
Right, and I do have hibiscus, real yeah. hibiscus, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the front and on the side of my house. So you never saw it flower? Oh are my the God! Yes, the I'll show you pictures. No, the flowers are not the same. So, but you, <laughs> I don't do, I don't, I don't do flowers. <laughs> when you, but you're looking at this tree, <laughs> and then it's flowering. Okay, gotcha. Okay, <laughs> so it could have been a uh, uh, a coconut tree. And be like, yeah, my hibiscus tree is, you know. Yeah, I, and I put it back there. I mean, it's yeah, I know. Like, I actually, what did the tag say? <laughs> it's a bougainvillea, hence the big nasty thorns. That on makes the sense. Thorns. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I, I'll show you a picture later of the bougainvillea. Of, of the bougainvillea when it's in was uh -huh. in full bloom, uh -huh. just like last year. It was mm -hmm. beautiful. It was gorgeous. Did she say the iguanas like bougainvilleas? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So I'm gonna cut it down. I'm not gonna remove it. I'm mm -hmm. just gonna cut it down. That would, that would actually help it flower better. It will help it, yeah. Yeah, I think it's been assaulted now, so it <laughs> Yeah. Um, Carla F. said that uh, she's from the Caribbean. Yes. And she said that in the Caribbean, iguanas are considered wild meat. Yes. And oh. can retail for 50 to $80. Here too, though. Really? Here too? Yeah. Uh, down in uh, Miami-Dade. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they, people capture them. Yeah, like when it's cold and they fall out of the fall tree. out of the tree, they capture them. Yeah, and but then when they get warmed up again, that's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. you got to get them in the pot right away. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Geez. I don't know, but I, that's horrible. Or on the grill. Uh, uh, put them in the tin foil. I don't make know. sure. Make sure. Yeah, oh. before they well, but then they'll warm up. Oh, yeah, they'll be warmed yeah. up before yeah, yeah. any of that. But they're in the tinfoil. You oh, can't see yeah. it. Oh, don't my get gosh. Those big ones. Big <laughs> ones. Tinfoil is not going to hold Big Daddy. So, anyway. So, does it taste like chicken? I don't even want to know. Okay. Don't All right. So, thank <laughs> well, you. How would you know, anyway? Hopefully, you don't know. Yes. <laughs> and, and with the earth, wind, and fire, yes. September 21st, um, Amy Stitching with Totes, yes. she shared her piece that she's doing, and it's a perfect piece. She's got grass and trees, mm -hmm. and um, there's some um, clouds in the sky for the wind. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, oh, my God. It's perfect. A, a perfect. So piece. September 21st is Earth, Wind, and Fire Day. You can hashtag it E-W-F-S-A-L for Sal, because okay. I want to see all the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Hash, we'll put it in our description below. Yes. Um, uh, hashtag E W F S A L. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it would be so good. And I know um, several people have like, this is what I'm working on. Yes, a lot of people. Yes. Somebody's doing okay, by the Bay, Autumn in Vermont. Nice. Uh, oh. And someone, oh God, uh, nice. I didn't write down who, is doing ink circles of fire. The Tangled. Tangled fire or yeah. is it tangled? Yeah. Yeah. It's called tangled or so, tangled fire. So Ooh, that's yeah. perfect. Perfect. Per. So join us on that day. Yes. And I posted it in our Facebook group. Yes, I you did. did. Listen yes. to some earth wind and fire. fire. Stitch on something that's reminiscent of, of earth and or yes. wind or sun, yes. fire. Yeah. Just it's good. Have, let's have a good day that yeah, day. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun great day. day. All right. And tell us your Earth, Wind, and Fire stories. There was one of our friends that's going to their concert, right? With so, Chicago? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. nice. To see yeah. Chicago with Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah. yeah. Nice. To see Chicago and Earth, Wind, and Fire? Yes. In Chicago? No, here. Oh, here. Oh. And <laughs> oh. Chicago. Oh, okay. Got gotcha. you. And Chicago. I, the only thing I know about Chicago is their, like, their name logo, their name um, branding. Mm -hmm. I don't think I know of their, their songs. songs. No. Maybe. No, they were good back yeah. in the day. Yeah. Yeah, we're all getting a little long in the tooth, so mm. those bands from back in the day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My teeth are cut. <laughs> so, so the halftime for the first game of the year, NFL, it's football uh -huh. season, the halftime for the first game of the year, which is Thursday night, yes. which was in Los Angeles, yes. was Ozzy Osbourne. Really? No. 74 years old. Actually, they didn't show a lot of it. Yeah. But the part that we did, he sounded pretty good. He was moving around, and I was actually really, really glad to see him. Yeah. Because he's had some health yes. challenges yeah. Yeah. Uh, in the last couple of years or so. 
Yeah. So wow. good on you, Ozzy Osbourne. For real. Hanging in there. Halftime football? Do. Yeah. First game of the season? Yeah. That's really good. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. All righty. So who's got some finishes? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't. No, I, I do. You have, okay, okay, let's see Deb's finishes. All right, Deb. My first finish is um, when Ink Circles was the... Uh, designer of the month. Mm -hmm. I did finished the, my the Garon designer focus designer of the month. Right, 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 right. Um, I finished um, turtles all the way down. Yeah, and um, I don't know if you can see the whole thing. Yeah, it's yeah, well, press it up, up further up. There you go. There we go. And so I had it finished by the gals at the cupboard, and. Um, I entered it in their yearly contest go. Up and mm -hmm. I got second place. Nice. <laughs> yes. It was in the miscellaneous um, category mm -hmm. because oh, it's, it's, a band. yeah, it's a banding mm -hmm. and it's a bell pull. Mm -hmm. And so she put it in the miscellaneous mm -hmm. and I got second place. Nice. Wonderful. So that was fun. Yes. <laughs> what did you use? The call for? I used the call for. Um, the, the banding is Mill Hill banding. Ooh. It's called Floral Trellis. I tried to go back. I got it on one, two, three stitch. Mm -hmm. I tried to go back and I, I had I bought it a long time ago. They had banding, but not this particular mm -hmm. one, but they still have banding. The mm -hmm. color of in the banding and the turtle. I know, is perfect. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really turned out and well. And that little I think. bit of pink just sets it off just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So to kind of balance the greens a little bit. Right. Nice. Right. Very nice. And um, that banding is 27 count. Mm -hmm. But like I said, they still have banding if you go to 123 Stitch, mm -hmm. you can find mm -hmm. banding. Nice. I love it. Mm -hmm. Congrats. And the next one is um, when Plum Street Samplers was the Garon um, Designer Design Focus of the Month. Mm -hmm. I finished Harvest Delivery, Plum Street mm -hmm. Samplers, x Designs of Fabric 40 Count, and it's Marbled um, Pointer. Nice. And that one was um, that That's one nice. was really fun. Mm -hmm. Really I love the pumpkins. Yes, mm -hmm. that's really good. That's delicate. What count? Forty. Forty count. Forty count. That is delicate. Very nice. That one needs to be finished fully, but mm -hmm. there'll come a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you that's do good. full crosses? Yes. Yes. Over, yes. It was one thread over two. Okay. Very mm -hmm. pretty. Thank you. That's all? That's, That's all. it. Okay, so EJ, let's see. Oh, any starts? No, I don't have any starts. I have some starts. Let's see your starts. Okay. Let me get my story out because it's not in the um, right order. I don't remember why I started this one. Because um, it looks cute? I'm not sure what <laughs> happened. But um, What's in July? I, I was feeling my birthday a little bit this year, and I was like, huh. And I went to the cupboard, and I've been going through the old stuff there, right? So I've been looking in the bins. And for some reason, I have this series. It's Waxing Moon, and it's um, the monthly sampler series, it's called. Mm -hmm. And I never brought July, which is my birthday month. I had my husband's. Oh. My kids, not mine. So I went ahead, picked that, um, picked that up at that visit, and I started it. And that's my start. I don't know. Can you guys see it? Yeah, hold on. I'm looking for an extra. There we go. Oh. Okay. okay. There we go. Yeah. yeah you I'm got it. Closer. Um, that one is on 28 count color and cotton. It's a Stitch Con limited edition, so oh, okay. it didn't have a color, and I've had it forever, um, and I thought it, it would be good for this. Yeah, so. Very nice. This is July. Yeah, yep. Are you going to color, are you going to fill it in? Yep, yeah. yep, yep. On hot July days, we head to the beach. Where we a, don't. Where, <laughs> okay. where a chilly sea breeze blows. To have some fun in the red hot sun, 
It is hot. Mm -hmm. Wet sand between our toes. Now, oh, so when cute. my kids were younger, mm -hmm. we, we came to Florida from the Chicago area. When my kids were younger, we did go to the beach. It was free entertainment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I had three. And I want to tell you. Are you going to add another kid there? Oh, I should. Huh? Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. You can but, stitch on that on the 21st. Yes. Sun. Breeze. Yeah. Oh, I have something else. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, brought, I brought it. Okay. So I started that one. Yes. That looks good. And another one I started. Oh, you got one of those boxes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to show it. Was Feast of Friendship uh, Blackbird Designs. Whoops. Let me get my chart out of the baggie. Feast of Friendship uh, Blackbird Designs. Um... This was during the Gear on Design. This was, yeah, yeah. So that's the chart. And From you can Blackbird. maybe turn it around, show the other one. And then you can, what other one? Oh, this one? No. One. Oh, well, you could make it, I guess, into two. Right. Or whatever. So this is as far as I got. Woohoo! And. That's a big bowl. Or is it going to be a feast? That's a big bowl. That's a big bowl. Yeah. So that's about as far as I got. That looks good. But I wanted to show you guys something that was cool because um, Vicki Clayton did a silk conversion for this chart, and I put and I put her. Oh, maybe it isn't as cool as I thought. Oh, I know why. Silly girl. Oh, yes. <laughs> kind of locks down, but. <clears throat> I found a way to um, oh, that's to store her um, spools safely and securely. And what this actually is, you can get it on Amazon. It's a, a bobbin holder mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the largest Bernina mm -hmm. bobbins. Oh, and inexpensive. Mm -hmm. I can't even remember. Inexpensive, anyway. Mm -hmm. It's just the it's just the biggest box they have. I oh, it fits in there yeah. nicely. Yeah, I mean it's real snug. So I'm not Perfect. sure they might have some bigger, but the largest bobbin for Bernina. Right. Okay. That's that's the key. So that's the key, and then you can look at the different sizes. Right. So I nice. I, I I probably saw it. Someone do it. Yeah. But I don't remember who, and if it's you, maybe comment okay. below. But That's um, nice. I, I don't <laughs> think I came up with that one myself. And it's on Amazon. The brand name is called H I M E N. H I M E N. Hyman? Hyman? Uh, <laughs> Hyman? Sorry. <laughs> it locks. It sure does. <laughs> Open it, you can lock it back up. <laughs> really? Yes, you can. Yeah. All right, okay. I'll take your word for it. Buy a new one. <laughs> you know, oh my gosh, I've got three at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, uh huh. The chip, <laughs> the fabric, the fabric I used is uh. R and R yeah right. R and R reproductions, um, and it's thirty two count abecedarian. Oh, I love that's one of my favorite um, shades. Mm -hmm. of, yeah, like, really I nice. buy it every time I see it. I buy fat corner right. of abecedarian. And this isn't the only um, Vicky Clayton um, conversion so, I've uh -huh. bought. Mm -hmm. For there's you know she'll do conversions for several different other designers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um i think you can even just ask and mm -hmm. she'll yeah do it. i know she does some gas conversions and stuff mm -hmm. like and then i know they have gentle arts yes mm -hmm. gentle arts. also um i know she has three things sampler and that's one of the ones i want to start next year mm -hmm. that she has it on um as a set so i will be buying a hymen mm -hmm. there you go okay buy a new one yeah all right <laughs> Innovation. Yes. Innovation. <laughs> that that and that's it? Okay. That's All right. It for me. All righty. I don't have any starts. I have one start. Woo -woo! This is what I've been very excited about since I 
saw, this was on a Tuesday group. Uh, one of our stitchy friends, Diane, said, hey, look at what I saw. And she saw GH1857 sampler so by Ateliers Zud Idee. It's so pretty. Then, which is actually Simone de Jean Van Wiesen. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully I pronounced that correct. Um, I'm doing this on we 30, practice. Yeah, thir <laughs> I did. 32 count lakeside linen and buttercream. And I'm using the Call for Weeks Dye Works, and there is one Soie Delge. Mm. And this is my start here. Ooh. Beautiful. You did a good job. Oh my God. This is so much fun. That border, it's so relaxing. It's very um, even. Oh, in, that's nice. In, in the sense that you can just, once you have the pattern, mm -hmm. you, you can flow with the pattern. <clears throat> that represents the um, top Ooh. of page Isn't one. That gorgeous. And the, yeah, the that's fabric. That's gorgeous. And what fabric is this? Um, Lakeside linen Lake and buttercream. Linen. Yeah. Nice. Oh, is this called for boy. fabric? No. <gasps> gorgeous. Mm -hmm. In real life, Deb, you have this? Oh. No. No. It's, it's, uh, every time I find Lakeside linen You're somewhere, right. I buy it. So you don't need this whole thing? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Wow, this is what, a fat hat? Yes. Wow, okay. Yeah. Mm. But you gave it some extra border, no? I did. I, I, well, yes, it's more than I need. I just didn't cut it. Gotcha. Mm. Um, oh, so I thought you were going to use this whole thing. No, it's a four. I, get, I, I had enough to do a four inch margin. Oh, okay. So I did. Okay. You know, and then some. Okay, yeah. So I just mm -hmm. decided not to cut the fabric because I would just wind up with little strips. Yeah, yeah. but you can use a doodle I'd rather cloth. do the little, little slips, strips oh. after I'm done. Oh, you guys, doodle cloth. Yes. yes. Now, you're a teacher, right? Yes. You know when you're... Okay, you don't remember this. Do you guys remember when you would be, like, talking on the phone in your kitchen? Yep. Yeah. And there'd be a piece of paper in front of you? Oh, yes. That's doodling. Yes. yes. So when you're playing with a needle on fabric, they uh -huh. call that doodling too. Yes, because you're, the cloth is a practice cloth yeah. called a doodle. Mm -hmm. That's right. Doodle cloth. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Didn't you, did you have a... <laughs> what? Did you have a phone in your kitchen with a yes. wire, with a wire? Yes, long enough that you can bring it to your room and no, have no, some no. privacy. No, 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 no. Mine was long enough to sit in my father's chair <laughs> in my in my kitchen. That's it was about this long. <laughs> so there was no nonsense. Yes. You were on that phone and off. Uh. <laughs> but I to this day I hate the phone for that reason. Really? Oh, yeah. Hate the phone. Oh my goodness. It's a beautiful piece. The colors is. are gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Yeah. It is yeah. gorgeous. 32 count buttercream lakeside linen. Gorgeous. Love it. I love the blues in yes. there. Yes. And I think it was gorgeous. actually, um, the model was actually stitched, I believe, on a higher count, I believe. Oh, okay. oh wow. But I, I had this, so I said, nope, nope. You have to, have, are you watching the Game of Thrones? Yes, I meant to ask you that last time. I have to not. start. Have I'm to waiting start. for it to give me like more, more episodes and then go bah, 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 bah. House of Dragons. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of a slow burn, mm -hmm. but I'm intrigued. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I am keep coming back. Mm -hmm. I, I'm intrigued. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, get, I'm invested. I think I want to figure out who are these people in relation to who the ones like, who do, who are these folks in relation to who the one, who are it's, the it's, ones that I know? It's clear. It's clear. It's clear? It's clear. To who? To you. It tells you exactly this person is this person's relative? House Targaryen. So it, it's, it's a direct Daenerys. descendant. Okay. Yeah. You even see Daenerys, right? Yeah. No, do you? Don't you see Daenerys as a little girl? No, no, no she's it's 200, yeah. it's 200 years oh, before. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Yeah. I Game thought you saw Thrones. Daenerys. No, okay. it's 200 years before Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. It speaks to her lineage. Her, yes, okay. Her, yes. Okay. The, the story and when dragons were strong and plentiful. Strong, yeah. Yeah, yes. Okay. And, and yeah, the dragons are plentiful. It's good. <laughs> I like the dragon. Uh -huh. I oh, me too. You know yeah. the Dragon Riders of Pern? No. Oh, that's such a good book series. Oh, really? really? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Anne McCaffrey. Oh, okay. You want dragons? Anne McCaffrey. Dragons. It's a way to get dragons. 
<laughs> and and girls, I think. <laughs> oh, I forgot to write down. Who was your start? Oh, Deb. Oh, um, it was uh, the monthly sampler series Waxing Moon Designs, and okay. it was July. Okay. And the other one was the Feast of Friendship, which is Blackbird, Blackbird Designs. Okay. We have all our information. I don't know. We did revamp the um, description box. So you'll see our whips. You'll see our starts, you know, labeled very clearly. Yeah. Yeah. And Shelly writes it down because when we're done going back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who did what? <laughs> okay. There we go. Now I'm caught up. Okay. Whips. I have whips. Uh, let's see your whips, CJ. Okay, so oh maybe okay here. Here's my calendar. September. What did I do? We filmed here, right? The twenty seventh. Yeah. Okay. Well, we filmed on the third as well, the third of September. We did. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, joyous day. <laughs> we actually did film in September already. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember now. I remember now. So, on the third. Okay, so I'm doing AB single. Oh, let me show you my um, AB single chart. Which is... Um, So here's my AB single. The yellow are the ones that's called, and the greens are the ones that's completed. Oh. So I've been working. Yes, you have. Wow. wow. Yes. I've been working. Very good. Thank you so much. So if I finish C, Y and C have been called, I haven't worked on it, and I'll tell you why. I just need the letter L, and I'll have a bingo already. All righty. And there's two other places where I just need two more letters called, mm -hmm. and then I'll have like three bingos. Nice. Thank you. So, um, I'm not ready. So, um, on Saturday, X was called. I think so. Yeah. I think you mentioned that. That was yeah. my plan? Yeah. Okay. So, it was for Xenops, which is a type of bird. Old, and then um, I'm stitching on Old Joyous Day. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I had to. This whole, okay, so I had to frog before I stitched. Uh -oh. Yeah, let me show you. And I didn't finish frogging before I started stitching, so. Cause you start stitching in a different spot? Yeah. Okay, that's sometimes. It just, <laughs> Look. Yeah. I don't know if you can see any of that. Okay, so you see that line, right? Thank you. Mm -hmm. You see that line right here? This line was all the way over here. Oh. I have to frog all of this. Yes. So yes. I frogged some of it. Okay. Figured out what went wrong. Yeah. And then I just finished um, this flower. Yes. yes, I remember that. Because you had you had finished the whole line going across the whole width of the piece yes. in the wrong spot. Correct. Yeah. I'll, in, I'll insert the how it's supposed to look picture. Yeah you know, while we're talking. Okay. But yeah, so this is Blackbird. This is, um, I don't know what count, 32? But it's a picture that's plus 32. So it's really a 35, mm. 36. Mm. <laughs> so I'm using one thread. Okay. Oh. And it looks good. Looks it fine. Does. It looks yeah. Great. Yep. So let me show you again. There it is. Very nice. And that was a big discussion because she joined us on our Tuesday Zoom. On and, Sunday. Oh, Sunday Zoom. Yes. Sunday Zoom. And um, it, it was a whole discussion as to whether yes, we could work with it. Mm -hmm. And then we decided no because... It, it affected a whole it, lot. It, it, yeah, it was yeah, it was easier to remove it and restitch it. This is a 32 count legacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, it was a discussion. Yeah. Yeah. But it was... As disappointing as the ultimate answer was, yeah. it was the right decision. Yeah, and then I looked at Shelia, because you know Shelia, she's the queen of, I won't start not taking it out. But she's oh. like, yeah, you should take it out. Yeah. <laughs> she told me to take it. Would, it would, because it was one stitch row too low. Low and over. And over, and oh, that's just no, too much. Oh, no, you wouldn't be, 
compensation yeah. for and when you look at the chart and see the placement of mm -hmm. everything yeah. it is, the amount of time it would take you to fudge it mm -hmm. yeah yeah it wouldn't be worth it take it out yeah, yeah. the yeah. next i stitched on the letter m was called for ab single and it was my grading butterflies so it was temperature butterflies yay oh. there we go yay Mm -hmm. Man, I think so that gets better the more it sits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I'm stitching on, it's all the way in the bottom, temperature butterfly, like I said, but it's going to be, it's changed. I changed it a little bit. Well, not I, but Stitching Mommy, she changed it for me, so it's going to look like this. It's going to make it like a clock. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm hmm um so i continued working on april i'm a little behind but well, that's okay it's all right you know you got it's 12 months in a year yeah. eventually i mean you 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 have access to all the information mm -hmm. you Correct. need so yeah. so this is it you know this meteorologist so keep <laughs> yes, it right. on the straight and narrow so i added more oranges because it's getting hot you know, this was Florida, yeah. South Florida is getting hot in here. Yeah, yeah. So, so I added more oranges. Yeah, and darker oranges, the burnt but orange. But when you say you added more, I mean, that's still within the color scheme that you had selected. Correct. Okay, yeah. it's just that it was getting hotter, so. Yes, correct. The butterfly like, was getting more orange. Correct. Okay. Because I only had like this part, the green parts done, mm -hmm. but because I stitched more on it, mm -hmm. more oranges came mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's gonna get yeah May through October. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be all red and orange. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be, okay. yeah. all red and orange. So mm -hmm. so it was good. I yeah. stitched about 190 stitches. Okay, oh. and then I was like, okay, yeah. All right, next. On Monday, the letter I came out, and it's um, Immaculate Stitches, or Immaculate. And I worked on, oh, I have that here. Five Seasons of Quilts. Oh, nice. Yes. We had a whole discussion on five seasons. Here's the five <laughs> seasons of quilts. It's a leisure art leaflet. Um, I'm sure that somebody's said they have it or they just bought it yeah somebody mm -hmm. has, oh. has just found it mm -hmm. yeah okay. you can go to www.leisurearts.com and check it out five seasons of quilts and the fifth season was christmas correct, correct. you know christmas just for season. those who <laughs> are sitting there wondering five seasons and this is 32 count vintage country mocha. Oh, that's right. I was looking at it on the other side and I'm like, mm, this does not look like vintage country mocha. But yes, it is. Oh my God, it's so good. It looks so nice. I worked on blues mm. when I got this. Ooh, oh, look. look. <sighs> wow. What do you guys see? <laughs> so I'm still working on the, the tree is completely done. So I worked on the border of the quilt all the way around and then um, inside the blue, the quilt blocks. Nice. So Very pretty. This is the winter part of vintage of um, five seasons of quilts. Okay. This is the winter. It's looking good. Now yes. each one of those panes is a quilt piece. Yes. A quilt block. Yes. Oh, wow. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so this is what the first one would look like. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it up again. So that one, this one, yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. The blues, and then they have the greens with the trees, and then this one. This one would be amazing. Mm -hmm. The one that yeah. with the diamond. Yeah, color. that was good. Okay, so yeah, that was Monday. On Tuesday. Oh, you kept up this week. Uh, this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you had testing, so. Yes. 
Um, on Tuesday, I did um, ABC de la Bordeaux. Oh, here it is. That's not it. Did I forget it? No, I didn't forget it. Oh, it because the letter A came out. Mm. ABC de la Bordeaux. I did 168 stitches. Wow. And, um, yeah. So I worked on, I don't remember what I worked on. Here, can you show them? This is how it's supposed to work. This is how it's supposed to look. I'm using the DMC. I have to take it out because that's a oh. frosty bag. Okay. <laughs> what kind of a um, scroll rod do you have that on? This is the Elon's it's one. It's a plastic oh. bag and a plastic bag. <laughs> Oh, that's not ever going to show. A, a, a clear plastic bag in a frosty bag. No. <laughs> this is, this is, um, that. I forgot the name of the thing. Yeah. Oh, so this, oh I worked on a tree. And so, the word stitch. Wow. And the little heart under it. And the butterfly. Dang. So Look at all that work you did. I don't know. Yeah. Look at all this work I've done. Oh, wow. look. Oh, wow. You see that tree? Yeah. I yeah. It's got I love, butterfly. I love a good tree. Yes. <laughs> yep. So this is ABC Sampler. Nope. ABC de la Bordeaux by Jardin Privé. Mm. So, yeah. So I'm on the letter what, H. What count is that banding? 32. Okay. 32 count. I got it at... Um, the cover, cover, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I will close it later. And put this here. Put that here. Put that here. Put that here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. And then the letter R came out. Oh, I didn't write down what the R meant. R is for ribbon, and I worked on. Uh, a goodie, but oldie. Um, ABC de la no ABC no a sampler au fleur okay. by Jardin Privé. I have the colored version here, and then the black and white here. So, so this is how it's gonna look like at the end. I know, I know. Oh wait, this is a better view. This is how it's gonna look like at the end. Mm. So sampler au fleur by Jardin Privé. And I did 304 stitches. Ooh, oh my goodness. You really got into it. What Man, day was that? Wednesday. Okay. Oh. Look. Isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. <gasps> oh, it's Oh my lovely. God. Look at that. Mm. This is fabric I hand dyed myself, or I dyed myself. I worked on the Did bee. you really? Yeah, yeah, oh, she God. she's died. So good. <laughs> I worked on the bee and the the what do you call this? A birdhouse. Mm -hmm. I'm working on the what do you call this? The pot where you the watering can on the bottom right there. So I worked around that area. So page one, half of page one is done. Half of page two is almost done, oh. and then I'll move on to, to the, the rest. Yeah. yeah. So you worked on this area. Yes, I did. Cool. Beautiful. Thank you. This is an 18 count. Mm. Um, yeah, I dipped it in whatever it dye. Mm. And then um, it's with one strand of PR67 mm. from Silks for You. It's that nice. Like, Fantastic. So mm -hmm. one strand over two fabric threads. Oh, no, no, it's, it's, an, eight, 18 it's an 18 count. Yes. So, yeah. so it's this nice color. Mm, nice. It's nice. Mm, so wine good. color. Yeah. Wine is Does nice. it have a little bit of green going through it or no? Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? No, kind of like a brown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reddish to Beautiful. Brown. Beautiful yes. shade. Love it. And this, was, this is part of my sep sampler September. Mm -hmm. Sampler September. So not necessarily whip go, it's just sampler September. Okay, and then Thursday, I didn't stitch on anything. And then Friday, I didn't stitch on anything. Okay. And then today is Saturday. Today okay, is well that's all right. You had a good start of the you week. You did have a good Woo! run. Yes, you did. Thank you. But I will go back and do these two. Oh, and what are they? 
Christmas ornaments. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I couldn't write, I couldn't, I couldn't think. It was too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too much. So, so it were both days, mm -hmm. Thursday and Friday, mm -hmm. Christmas ornaments. Oh, because I knew you had it represented multiple times oh. in your AP <laughs> Come on, you gotta buckle down and finish it. You gotta get finish it. in it. All right. Because it's almost there. Yeah. That's it for me. Okay, Deb, let's see your whips. Okay, I, I need help from EJ to yes. hand me the first one. Perfect. And this one is, it's it's doubling up as a whip and the earth, wind, and fire on the 21st. Okay. I'm going to be doing Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. My Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow is on, I can see this, 40 count X-Jude jack-o'-lantern. And um, Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow is Kira Chow samplings. This stuff? And yeah. And so um, this is, I haven't gotten nice. very far. However, yeah. oh, I was gonna say, EJ, yeah. grab that extra board there. Oh, there it is. Right. Um, I got it. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. So I've got the first block going. And what I figured was, and let me show you that chart. What I figured was, it has Wait. earth because there's... Wait. Huh? We're showing the wrong part of the... Oh, I forgot. I, I was um, oh, stitching, stitching in, in the, the ditch. In the well, I call it. But I was trying to figure out, how are you stitching that with all that fabric on yeah. my Yeah, so I'm <laughs> stitching... This one right here on the corner. And um so this I, corner here? Yes. That's the one I've got. Which one let me see it? The coffins. That one? Mm, the, the, oh. the, the the cemetery. The the oh. Like, yeah. Oh my god, that looks so good. The church with the cemetery. Here, here. So um so that's got people underground. There's also um, that's earth, okay. There's also fire because the cauldron with the oh, witches. There you go. That's a fire. Oh, nice. Yeah. And there's also wind because there's a picture. Where the heck is it? There's a picture of oh, we are afraid, and it's wind in the sails, oh, but there's no. but they're sinking. Yeah, that's Cause, good. Because the wind isn't cooperating. I think. <laughs> But that was um, good. so anyway, that's that's the deal with that. Oh, how much fun is that? So I'm gonna be working on that. That is a perfect earth, wind, and fire piece. You did yes. be able to get all, all the elements. <laughs> yes, that's so good. Nice. This is forty count. So it's forty count. I'm using one thread over two. And it's DMC, right? It is. What is it? You know what? That's a good question. That's a very good question. You should ask that question. What am I doing it on? I am doing it on DMC, except for the black. It's um oh, it's a uh, it's a silk. It's the um silks for you. Silks for you. Uh. I can't remember the color zero zero something, but it's um the black. Wow, mm -hmm. that's so pretty. So. I decided to use because you like the coverage of that better than I the do. black DMC. I do, and and I want to use it up. But the yeah. rest is DMC, so one thread. And there's a lot of black in that. So there is. A good, there's a ton of to... ton of black, and I got a hank. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So and next, um, this is what I've been stitching on probably most of the summer. I took it on the cruise we went mm -hmm. on, Sheila, mm -hmm. if you remember. Yep. And it is um, Summer Quakers, Ooh. which I consider okay. this particular Quaker um, a sampler because on the bottom there's an alphabet. Mm -hmm. But oh, um, right. I also have been using peels to hold my Veldani's, um, which is the call for in this case. Mm -hmm. And I've been using a 22, uh, what do they call it, gauge? Needle. Mm -hmm. Needle. Mm -hmm. Because it has a really big eye mm -hmm. and the three Valdani's, because you don't separate them, yeah. uh, fit in that needle really well. Mm -hmm. And so this is how it looks 
and I should have done this before. I am sorry, ladies. Okay, okay. Where's the okay. I'm going to unravel some. Oh, okay. So this wow. is what I've got done. Oh, how pretty. Okay, you can let it hang. Okay. All right. We'll talk about it. So um, this is Rosewood Manor. Um, it is on 28 count Melody, and it's hand dyed by oh, Stephanie. Wow, this is so pretty. <gasps> Oh, nice. Like that one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I just find these peels to be so helpful, keeping everything neat and tidy. Mm -hmm. This is twenty-eight count. Twenty-eight count. Mm -hmm. That's very pretty it's on it. So oh, twenty-eight count with the Valdani. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. 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 And that's what she's called called for. for. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I know a lot of people have been putting it on 32 and 36 and then trying to use the Valdani and finding it hard because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the Valdani is at, at the full strands is, is a thicker thread. It's very thick. So, so it, it pops off that fabric. On 28 yeah. count. Yeah, yeah. On 28. Mm -hmm. Good full coverage. Now the only one that isn't Valdani is the, the, black. the bees, the black and the bees. Mm -hmm. Looks good. So I've been using anchor off the spool mm -hmm. and I've been using two threads. Mm. Two unwound or just two strands? Two strands. Okay. Two strands. Mm -hmm. So that's two strands. Wow. That's, that's good. That looks good. I think it holds up to the three Valdani. Yeah, yes. very fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Good job. And so that's the second one. That, that's like I said, I was going to work on that one all the way to the 21st when Earth, Wind, and Fire happened. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, no. No, I'm done. I can't. <laughs> you can't so I actually, and I'm taking these out of order and screwing. Um, I'm messing uh, EJ up here. She's my assistant. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I decided to work on this one. It's sampler September. It turned into September, and I was like, oh, no. So I am working on this. Whoops, I should show you this first. I am working on Halloween Sampler. Mm, I like that one. There's a Halloween Sampler 2. This is the first one. This is by Cottage Garden Sampling. Thank you, yes. Mm -hmm. I have that one. They're the ones that do, did all those um, woods creatures. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And they have the trick or treat one this year, I think. That's mm -hmm. really cute. Mm -hmm. And this one is looking like this so far. You started in the middle. I did. I sort of started in the middle. Yeah, yeah. I'm using all the call for, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, got them on my handy floss. dandy floss drops. Nice. Very pretty colors. Mm -hmm. A lot of black, gray, per, um, orange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The. Um, the first letter of each word is like a um, where'd it go? Oh. Is like a bluish black. It's hard to see. Oh, I see. In certain light, yes, you can I do see, see that. Yeah. Do you see so, that? So I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's yeah. I see a bluish black, and the other ones are black black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Do you yeah. see it? Oh, yeah. So the bluish black is, um, what color is that? The blackboard. Oh, blackboard? Uh huh. Oh, wow. It's a bluish black. Yep. And then and the black black that she's using Raven. is Raven. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. It's subtle, mm -hmm. but it, but is, it but looks it's, great. It's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you have to have good lighting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, then, um, Way back in January, when Laura from uh, Brenda and the Cereal Starter was having a big birthday, she had a big birthday sale, mm -hmm. and this chart uh, by uh, the Scarlet Letter is Elizabeth Isles, 1799. It's the one with the angels in the border. And um, I started it in January with everyone else, but I I have to wow. be 
honest, I haven't gotten much done. That's however, a lot however, I will persevere. No, 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 no. I got this much done. <laughs> I am using. Um, oh, this is the flower next to the bird. This is the other one that I was talking about that had a um, a hymen. <laughs> that had a. Uh, a Vicky Clayton conversion, <laughs> and so um, it's so it silks, mm -hmm. and um, I love using these Vicky Claytons. Honestly, I do. So, but just a really, really small start on that one. But I'll work on it some more this month, maybe a little bit. Looks good, Miss Scarlet Matter. Yeah, Scarlet Matter, and um, they have. Full cross, long arm cross, and counted satin. Stitch. Stitches. Yeah. So what's a counted satin stitch as opposed to a satin stitch? I don't know. This, this is, you know. They being fancy? I guess so. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and so, that's. Oh, this is a nice type of a nice chart. chart. It, yeah. is. it is. It really is. Really big. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people you're going to be stitching or angels you're going to be stitching. I'm thinking about not doing this, the angels. It's very controversial. but The angels? Yeah. Um, okay. Then I have this one. This one? It's, yeah. It's uh, um, Hands Across the Sea. It's called Elizabeth Weston, um, 1830. I didn't know you said so many samplers. Yeah, I've got quite a few, and I've got quite a few I haven't started. So mm -hmm. um, this is a good month for me. This is on, um, oh, let me see if I can say this right. Uh, Soie de Alger silks, and here mm -hmm. they are, mm -hmm. all in their little baggies. And it's um, on 40 count, under the sea fabrics, um, Properly Primitive. By? By Under the Sea Fabrics. fabrics. It's so good. Yeah. I love that color. Oops, I think I need my board. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, that's really good. So that's my start. You and just started this? No. Well, you know, I, I worked on it a bit. I didn't work on it that much. It looks really good. Last year I worked on it. It's on, I, I have a small decision, tiny decisions wheel. Yeah. It's on my wheel. Gotcha. Oh, that's so it's pretty. So the colors pretty. are so vibrant. Right vibrant. Here. They really stand out on that fabric choice you made. Excellent. Nice. Just, okay. Soie de Jay. Mm -hmm. Soie de Jay. Yep. Okay. Yep. I see yep. you. Yep. yep. So, that's. Now, one of them I didn't bring. It's called, oops, sorry. Um, it's called Mary Salter Sampler. It's by the Exemplary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's on a 40 count platinum. Mm -hmm. It's truly all it is, at least what I'm doing right now, mm -hmm. is bands. Okay. So it's a, bands of, it's a band of straight stuff. Okay. It's a band of zigzags okay it's <laughs> i was like i'm not gonna bring it okay plus it's in a great big old box oh yeah okay <laughs> um the last one i have here is and we're happy it's last it is um called jane surtees uh and i brought it for a certain reason it's jane surtees 1811 and this one wow is on 46 count guys 46 count oh my goodness wow wow okay so um i have wow. gotten and 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 it's got over one. Ooh. yes it does yeah the did you know that the when words. you picked the 46 count yes I did. oh you did oh boy the words know. only uh pretty much i think just the words wow so this is what i've got going thank you wow and that is 46 count you can see the words now the words i did um over one but i did just half of the cross stitch you know i did like a continental stitch uh -huh, or a, uh -huh. what do they call that yep yep um 
And it's fine. I mean, I think it's fine. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. If you had tried to do a full cross, it would have been way too crowded. Way too tight, right? In fact, you probably would have lost interest because it would have been a struggle. It, I'm sure it would have been. Yes. So it's working out fine. Now, guys, I just had cataract surgery. Um, and I can see without my glasses. And at the time, all I needed was my... Um, you know, that, that gooseneck yeah. thing mm -hmm. that's got a magnifier mm -hmm. and a mm -hmm. light mm -hmm. with my glasses. Mm -hmm. Yes. But now that I'm stitching without glasses, it's the same thing. I, with these lenses I've got, all I need is my gooseneck with my light mm -hmm. and my magnifier. Nice. And I can see so far. This is the gooseneck. Thank you. Thank you. I can see 40 count just fine. No glasses. It's a miracle. Wow. But you guys. I have not tried 46 cal yet. Over one in particular. Yeah. So yeah. So it's, it's going to be a trial. Yeah. I'll let you know. Well, we were in the cupboard yesterday, and she had a new lamp. It's a table lamp. Mm. Um, and she oh, had the two things. No, no, this was just a round head yeah. magnifier. Yeah. There were two levels of lighting to it. Mm. She had a piece of 56 count underneath it really? as a sample really? and it was it's a good thing she had it labeled as 56 count because when I first looked through the magnifier at the fabric it was so clear mm -hmm. to me and I had on my regular glasses oh, wow. I thought oh this is a nice lamp it was a small lamp I didn't pay much attention to it beyond that yeah. but um, that's a game changer for people oh. who would like to stitch some of the higher count yeah, fabrics, counts, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, this one is on Weeks Straw. Uh, again, 46 count. And um, I'm using the call for conversion that Nicola puts in her... Are you going to look at this? No. Okay. That Nicola puts in her... Um, because sometimes you can use... You know, you she's got the... Stitches? She's got... Yeah. She's got the DMC... And she's got That's some awesome. kind of silk conversion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These are the Avera Soie 103 mm -hmm. um, that I'm using. You put oh. some, oh, band -aid. What do you call I this? put. No, it's just a ribbon. I ribbon. just put them together with ribbon. Ribbon, yeah. Oh, I got two deliveries. And that's Julie. That, that's. <laughs> so that's what I'm using for that. I say that with every box that comes to my house. Well, nine, nine times out of ten, it is a chewy box. This is sure. a full cross. I love no. those. No, it's a half. These are. Yeah. These are full cross. These are. Oh, the one. Oh, okay. Oh, I oh, now I see. Yeah. It. Yeah. I had to use her. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, yeah. Oh, now I see. The full. The rest is full cross. The words are mm -hmm. just. That continental half. half. Yeah. yeah. Like a half. Story. Very nice. That's a nice project bag, too. Yeah, yeah. This is um, so much to love. Oh, Ooh, very yeah, nice. This is good. Yeah. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. Show them the front of it. Mm -hmm. I love it. This is good. This is not bad. Very nice. But is this 56 or 46? 46. You know there's 56 count. I know. Yeah, I was just talking about 56 count. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not sure. If, <laughs> if I can see this on game, I'll try it. I don't know. You should definitely. Yeah, this is good. I think you definitely we should try it. Yeah, you should. Yeah, because you know, um, I need glasses, and <laughs> looking at this is not too bad. Okay, you got this. All right, <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> wow, that that was nice. I mean, amazing. Yeah, those those amazing um, cross variety. Yes. yes, and variety mm -hmm. of whips that that you've got going and are working on and. And your sep sampler September is amazing. So enjoyable. Yes. Absolutely, because of that. Yep. All righty. Well, I stay true to plan this Woo -woo. week. <laughs> Life. Life. We can watch, watch Jeff slowly pass out. He's only choked it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, ran Rosewood Manor, something blue. And I am stitching this on 32 count Earth and Sky Mountain Air, um, Earth and Sky by Mountain Air, and I'm using uh, DMC Blanc.
it's the only color that I'm using on it. Oh, that's pretty. It's, it's, I love it. I enjoy it very much. Um, so definitely it's a sampler. It's got some letters. Oh, definitely. Got some motifs. So, yeah. Something looks so blue. good. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, that looks so beautiful. good. Beautiful. Yeah, I love the way that the Blanc is popping off and it's two uh two threads over two fabric threads so it's it's really mm -hmm. nice coming along nicely mm -hmm. i also picked up rosewood another rosewood manor autumn quaker this is on 36 count colonial parchment fabric by stephanie and i'm using a victorian model sampler conversion and I'm finally making some progress on this. Feeling like, I've been stitching on this, I think, my whole life. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> but I'm making a great deal of progress. Um, oh, right here. Yeah. Oh, but you haven't done this part yet. Okay, yeah. So you're going down. Yeah, going down. I like, I want to get down to the bottom mm -hmm. on one side and then I'll work my way back. So, mm -hmm. yeah. She is right here. Because it's 36 count, I am using one thread over two fabric threads. And I'm loving, so these threads are not very variegated at all, but um, really enjoyable. I worked on, oh, I forgot to tell you what I worked on, on something blue, but I forgot. Um, <laughs> I, I worked on, this diamond motif on okay. Tuesday mm -hmm. and then, right. maybe a little bit more but that was a lot of fun it's just I think it's probably um, most of the colors in the piece oh each each oh. row is a different color yeah. in the diamond mm -hmm. I never thought of that yeah yeah and it's beautiful it's just gorgeous I mean I really so there it is. sorry yeah this right here so each one of those is a is a diamond shaped row in a different color mm -hmm. and it was You're right. just a lot of it's fun true. Mm -hmm. it's so delicate yes it? and then when i finished that i worked some of the motifs below it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah thank you ma'am there you go i need that too the board uh-huh okay <laughs> a pile down here yes but it's a pile <laughs> i picked up a sampler festive from the magazine Ma -A Merveille. Uh, it's a french magazine that was given to us by one of our um, viewers a couple of years ago i went she gave us two issues and i went through as you can see i have flagged everything just yeah, yeah a lot in both issues this mm -hmm. is the first one that i'm doing and i am enjoying it so much so much uh it's small it is you can tell me because you've got my it's small I no it's 36 it's, count yeah it's 36 count abecedarian Oh. R and R, and I'm using three silks for you colors. PR mm. 53, uh, a, um, one color from the November 2020 Color Club, and PR 026. Yes. And it's small, but and you can but you can see the three colors. Mm. And I had a page finish. Nice. Which was very nice, and it's um. It's it's not big. I mean, as you can tell, it's not going to be. Wow! Very look big. at this. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. yeah. Is oh, it good. still being published? This magazine? Yes. Um, and I did find. Um, I googled it, mm -hmm. and there there are a couple of like places where you can get it. What does that? Is that? Are those names? They're not. They're just like brand names. What? Or is that? Point de Croix? No, I know that's probably cross-stitch. That's yeah. the name of the magazine. magazine. Yeah. 
But hand it, and something. Merve, I don't know what that is. Yeah, okay. I did. I looked it up, but I don't remember. Maybe it's just, I thought maybe just a brand name. This was the magazine name. Yeah. I think that's a magazine name. Yeah. You know, like Just Cross Stitch? Yeah. 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 But I, I thought maybe it. Pont de Croix is Cross Stitch. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and, and oh, you can look through them. I mean, they're they're beautiful, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, Very gorgeous. Oh, sorry, you should have been looking at this like. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. This so I worked on um, coming down this side here, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and the it's all specialty stitches. Yeah. Very some simple cross stitches, but most of it are like um, so tiny. back stitch design, tiny. black work. Mm -hmm. satin stitch um, I have a little section I'm getting ready to work on that's satin stitch in one color and then a long arm cross on top of it in a different color Ooh. I'm really excited about to see that, to see that. Yeah. I, I thought I was going to get to it this time but I decided that it was too late in the evening and I, I needed to be it's beautiful a little bit more fresh really nice. are, are the flowers Lazy daisies or are they cross stitch? Those are lazy daisies. Yeah, those are look good, Shelia. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. I'm enjoying this a lot. It's the kind of piece where you can sit, you know, you get comfortable in your stitchy spot. Mm -hmm. And with me, it's get the TV on mm -hmm. and just sort of sit and just think on it, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I, you know had, <clears throat> I forgot to ask you, I had a question before. Aren't the five seasons, isn't one of them football season? Should be. I don't know why it wasn't. I don't either. <laughs> a quilt with a football in yeah, it. Yeah, whatever. A couple course. of people standing in front throwing yeah, the ball. Yep. Yeah. It's that time of year, folks. <laughs> which means I'll be getting a lot of stitching in over Sorry. the next few months. <laughs> I'm looking forward. That's, that's the one thing I love about football season. Because, as, as everybody knows, just discount my presence and participation <laughs> on Sundays, Thursday mm -hmm. nights, and Monday nights. Yeah. <laughs> just discount my participation. I am officially absent until the end of December, early January. No, won't be there. <laughs> but I'm sitting and I'm doing solid stitching all that time. But Sundays, I usually start watching the commentator shows on mm -hmm. like ESPN mm -hmm. and places because mm -hmm. I love those guys and the ladies that that you know those those crews that offer all the commentary because you know they they dig deep mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a watcher mm -hmm. I, I'm not a read all the stats and follow mm -hmm. all the people type stuff mm -hmm. and so I do enjoy listening to the analysts mm -hmm. and the commentary and um, so that starts usually like at nine o'clock on Sunday morning and I usually finish up, like the last game usually finishes up about on the East Coast of the U.S. about 11.30 Sunday night. I don't. Right. <laughs> now I admit, there are some of those night games I actually never see the end of, but it's on. Yeah. yeah it's on. Do you, um, do you do fire, um, fantasy football? No. Because I don't follow enough. Mm hmm to for real from 9 to 11 and you don't follow enough i like watching the game i don't need to know that oh, this guy is, is injured, injured and, and i know names and yeah i don't want to be bothered with trying to figure out how the impact of a, somebody's injury is going to make on my team gotcha ah uh, it's too much work i just want to enjoy gotcha you know? yeah and it's easy to stitch to because they replay every play you yes, know, play will happen. They'll say, "So let's look at this." I'll go, "Okay, I got it. I understand." <laughs> uh, again, uh, another Rosewood Manor uh, sampler. This is Seaside Sampler. I'm stitching this on 36 count opalescent uh, by Zweigart, and I'm using the call for Treenway silk threads. And um, you know, this is the one that has been a, a mm. major struggle yes. for me. Mm -hmm. And last week, I just said, you know, Shelia, it, because I'm, I, it's coverage. I like coverage with the stitch, mm -hmm. unless it's supposed to be an open um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. end. I, I like coverage on the fabric. And I wasn't achieving the kind of coverage that I like. 
um, with the Treenway silks on this, mm -hmm. and then I just decided to give it up. I was spending way more time worrying about something that in the end probably wasn't going to make that much difference anyway. So I had to, you know, it's called a ghost. suck it up and move forward. So this week I worked on the waves, uh, all the waves up here and started a little bit on this motif here. But there's one big motif over here, and that's the end of the top row. So I decided- I decide, Oh, like the eels? No, where are they, stingrays? Yeah, so that's the last motif mm -hmm. that I need to do um, out here. And so I'm working, I worked over to where I could start that motif. But rather than start that motif this week, I actually went down and decided to work here because I was looking. So I have a problem here with my waves and this is one of these, what would Shelia do moments? Yeah. Because I'm supposed to have 28 of the top waves. Yeah. And I have 27. But with my 27, it looks right. As you look at the picture. Yeah. And in the second row of waves, the darker waves on the second yeah. row, yeah. I'm not supposed to have that last little no, wave. No, you're missing. I see it. You're missing something above this. But it doesn't. Yes, it, it's right here. Yes, but it won't end correctly. It, it won't end in relation to this that. wave here. Gotcha. So I decided that I would... Um, and then uh, the third row of waves is the correct number of waves and ending all in the right place in relation to the top two rows. It's all lining up. And then all of a sudden at the very end, it's not like six. So, mm. so yeah. I said, okay, let's go down in Sorry. the motifs. <laughs> let's go down yeah. in the motifs and then come back over and see if I can't, before I start this big motif, yeah. mm -hmm. and let me see what happens as I come across yeah. with how the, all of the motifs under here line up under these waves. I'll have to look at mine, because I've done this thing, yes. right? Yes. I've done that one. Yes. I don't know what I did, but, because mine is, is exactly like Shelia's down to the fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't have as much done lower down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went straight across mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. And I did the stingray, so mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's just weird. Obviously, I am taking nothing out. <laughs> um, yeah. If anything, I would add two. But mm -hmm. it was just interesting that yeah. it just sort of came up off. Yeah, I have yeah. to look at mine um, and see what I did. Yeah, but, you know, again, this is a... Uh, a moment where Shelia will somehow find a way to make it work because we're not taking anything out. <laughs> no. Oh, I found a mistake. Where is it? You're supposed to have two separate, two strands here. Mm -hmm. You only have one. So this is the mistake and then it shifted everything over. Oh. Yeah. Well, nothing's coming out. No. It's, it's, no, absolutely not. And how, how would, yeah. How is she going to fix it? She'll let continue like she's doing. Yeah. 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 And it may be that in the end where the top row should have one wave more than the second row. Yeah. Mine will be fairly even. Yeah. You know, I'll just do that. And because it's at the very end, who cares? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to plop those stingrays. Yeah, you have those stingrays there. Yeah, the stingrays so, right there. Yeah. And, call it a day. Yeah, I had sorry. trouble with the stingrays. Oh, I'm yeah? wondering, are, are, you're using one thread, you said. I'm using like, one thread. Is that what they advise? Uh, it does. No. Yeah. Two strands. Two right? strands. But it's on 32. 32. Yeah. yeah. I do not remember what I did. Yeah. <laughs> it's been too long. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> But I like it on 36. I, mean, but I, I like had, the size of it. Let me just. Let me I had trouble with the stingray, so I'm wondering if I use two. Mm hmm. Because, man, it, it felt so tight. Yeah. On that fabric. Yeah. 
But see, Manel, when you look at this, that's see, it does it does things. go over, Sheila. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe I'm not so far off. No, I don't think so. so. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. You're well, good. I'll come across. Yeah. I probably Chimbo's made right. up in another error. So yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can probably. always start that that stingray, and if you see that you need another one, just put another one in. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to make sure this tail works out for yeah, me yes. to do that. So yes. that's why I decided to come across. Gotcha. Yeah. It's, it's, I oh, want to finish. You're working on the shrimp. Yes. I want to make sure. So um, what we're looking at is, what are we looking at? That corner right here. Uh, yes. What we're looking at is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it at all because it's so small. But right here next to the stingrays, there are these motifs in here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna come across with these motifs so that the tail, the tail closest to those motifs, I will count off from the motifs mm -hmm. to make sure that that's, the stingrays are placed up correctly. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the rest of it. For the rest of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be fine. And I think you're just going to need to add one yeah, more weight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you'll be good. Okay. So that's Seaside Sample. And, but I am enjoying it. Yes, it's a challenge. And again, this is another one that I've been working on forever and a day. And it's probably because of how long that I've been working on it, the number of times that I picked it up and put it down, mm -hmm. that these little things have popped up. Mm -hmm. And, and you don't, I don't notice that there's anything wrong because of the time in between mm -hmm. um, stitching on them. So that's that's a challenge with my rotation process and the number of whips I have. Yeah, I can relate to that. But you know what? We work with it. Yeah, we work with it. Here's a so now let's remember my favorite fabric count is 32 count. Yes. I don't think I've shown you much of anything today that's 32 count. Yeah. No, you yeah. guys, yeah, that's true. It, it, so this is another one that's on 36 count. <laughs> uh, this is Nevermore by Leela Studio. I'm stitching this on, picture this plus Sprite in 36 count. Oh hell, 40 count? 36 <laughs> count. This is oh, this for, picture this plus. And so I'm using one thread, um, and I have one substitution at the, no, a couple of substitutions because mm -hmm. at the time I was kidding this, you, there were some colors you couldn't find. Mm -hmm. um, Lagoon, um, Slug Bug um, were the two. Mm -hmm. And so I did some substitutions, but the color I picked for Lagoon really was I looked at the wrong maker of Lagoon. Oh, so mm -hmm. I think oh. Classic Color Works and General Arts both make a Lagoon. Mm -hmm. oh. I looked at the wrong one mm -hmm. and picked my color, so it's not quite what was charted. As you can see, this chart is fairly muted, and, and my Lagoon is very green. But I actually kind of like it. I like it. I like it. Happy accidents. So yes, so I work primarily over here uh, with this large mm, motif. Beautiful motif. Yes, this beautiful, mm. gorgeous. Yeah. And this, what color is this? This is. Um, oh, is that pretty? It's a beautiful color. I I kept looking at it because it's. What is it? It is. Oh, it's a Cosmo thread, number fifty thirty. Wow. Um, just a beautiful color. And I'm achieving something fairly close to the color in the model mm -hmm. with the darkness, the way, and, and I'm just stitching. I'm not doing any conscious decision making mm -hmm. about darks and lights. Oh, nice. It just so happens that my darker colors were popping up. It, it, in, co in a, a somewhat consistent manner in terms of the real, the shape of the motif. Is the Cosmo, um, is it a cotton? It's a cotton, it looks, Japanese cotton. It looks like a silk. It does, oh, and it feels like a silk. Look at that. Do you see that texture? It's a beautiful thread to work with. Oh, you know who's selling them? No, who? Oh, gosh. Jean Farish. 
Yes, well, she uh, yeah. Helps, so she does a lot with Cosmo. So now she, she introduced me to Cosmo. Uh -huh. She's selling like the line and stuff. That yeah. texture and her, is yeah, just incredible. And, and most of the threads are solid. That's a nice but this happens to be variegated. Yeah, it that's is really yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Very very. But lovely. when you compare it to what is this week's Channel mm -hmm. Art? Yeah, the texture is just tough. yes, it's noticeable. Very noticeable. Interesting. Um, so I, I worked on this brown motif and then I had a dangling thread, a long dangling thread. Mm -hmm. And it was because I had an error mm -hmm. and I had to take it out. And I guess mm -hmm. I was too tired. So I just left the thread hanging. Gotcha. And so I had to undo a little bit and then I actually worked more, almost finished the blue lagoon, mm -hmm. this, this portion of the lagoon. So that's yeah. nice. Yeah, because I was working. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This is a nice piece. It is a nice piece. It really piece. is. Yeah. Yeah. And I have one more piece I worked on last night. Oh, all that fine work down below. I know. I'm really excited Ooh. about that. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not so excited about the bird. Yeah, that'll be a lot of sound. It'll be a lot of sound. Yeah, that's, that's my whole job. That's that could be one a, thing. You can always travel. work when on When I get him. there, it's a travel piece. Yeah. For sure. Find, if you find a big enough button. <laughs> <laughs> a big old bird button. That would be big. A huge button. Last night I picked up Heartstring Samplery. Ooh. What a time to be alive. Wow. She's stitching it on Zweiger Casho Blue Whisper. Which is 28 count. And it was a gift from Carolyn Zook. Yes. And she's doing a colorful conversion. Yes, yeah, so uh, what well, the version is colorful. Carolyn picked it because it was the, the, the cover picture. I mean, it's just it's a nice yes. uh, single color, mm -hmm. and, and that really spoke to me. But when I opened it, I saw that there was a color version mm -hmm. of it, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh wow, mm -hmm. this. And it's this, gorgeous. And this is being stitched um, with the call for threads on the back. It doesn't say. Oh, I, I'm pretty positive I'm using the call for threads for the colorful uh, version on it. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. And the, the, the fabric is, uh, looks... 20, oh, you said it, 20 Count Lewis for Zweigart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And... Do you have a picture of the colorful one? No, there's no picture of the colorful one. So it's going to be a surprise. Oh, really? So I'm using some substitutes, uh, Victorian model sampler for a Weeks Dye Works and a Valdani Tea Honey uh, for mm -hmm. Weeks Dye Works. Tea Honey is a regular stranded cotton. Mm -hmm. oh. um, and I got it in a stitchy box. Oh. Um, tea honey. Where is it? It's not that gold. Oh, maybe it is. No, no. it's golden rooster. Oh, maybe I swapped it back out again. Oh, okay. I must have made some more decisions after I rolled my thing up because I don't see it. Oh, okay. Well, scratch that. But oh, you did change it to honey because you scratched it out to oh, golden, golden rooster. But yeah. I didn't change it on my little card. Mm -hmm. Okay, golden rooster. But I will say, tea honey mm -hmm. is a beautiful variegated. It's got some like browns and golds. Mm -hmm. It's a gorgeous variegated, and I think that's why I swapped it out. I, um, yeah, but this is, and, and I liked that this color gold better in relation to the others, I think. The other one was a little bit too muted mm -hmm. for, for it's this. nice. Yeah. So thank you, Carolyn. And I am enjoying this very much. Uh, so yesterday I worked on, I finished this motif here and I came down uh, this brown section there in, in the center. So it's like three urns yeah. or vases. Yeah. All one is like facing is upside down. The other yeah. one is yeah. right side up. Yeah. And then little. I think they're all upside down. Yeah. The bottom ones are upside, upside up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's almost like you could fold it in half. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. 
So it's, it's a gorgeous piece. I'm really, it's a, our friend Diane stitched it. She stitched mm -hmm. it in the single color mm -hmm. way and it's beautiful. I'm enjoying the, the colors and the color folds. That's nice. Yeah, very mm -hmm. much, mm -hmm. very much. So, whew, those were my whips. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. We're gonna, we're gonna pause a little bit and then um, you won't see any problems. Because we have to reconstruct? Yeah, and I have to use the restroom. Oh, okay. It's, it's been a minute. <laughs> see you later. Okay, so we're back. We took a little break. Woo. And what is this? Is this you, Deb? Uh-huh, I don't need okay. it. Okay, okay. Um, so we took a little break, kind of Sorry. rearranged, we got ourselves reorganized, and we're back. We're back. So now let's talk about haul or investments. <laughs> I have and, a couple of investments. And stitchy mm -hmm. kindness. Yes. We have a lot of stitchy kindness. Oh, a, sweet. a lot yeah. of folks who are making contributions to our giveaway box. Nice. nice. Thank so, you. Some wonderful contributions to our giveaway box. Oh, very nice. nice. Thank you so much. So EJ, let's see what you have. Okay. So these, I'm doing stitchy kindness first. Okay. So this is Woman at the Pond, an antique sampler reproduction. This is so pretty. This is from Diane. Tuesday group. Mm -hmm. Friend, Diane. Mm -hmm. I just love it. Look at the alphabet. Mm -hmm. I just, I just love alphabets. I just want to do alphabets. Mm -hmm. So this is so pretty. So, yes. And then it came with um, fabric. Yes. I don't know. I don't know what count. Let me see. So I'm going to Okay. Oh, here it is. This is a 40 count. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> wow. This is wow. All right. Okay. We're, we're talking about 40 yes, count. Yes. We're going to be such a 40 count marbled pointer by X Jew Design. I love oh, that yeah. fabric. Is, I love that fabric. Yes. One of my favorites. Perfect for that piece. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is the first. X Jew. I don't have an X Jew. Oh, oh you're nice. gonna love it. Thank you so and much. And there's not that many colors. There are only uh, three, six, nine, eleven colors. Yeah. There. And um, this is called for. Well, it's the model. This is how it's modeled. It's yeah. beautiful. Absolutely. So gorgeous. you can stitch it at MPI or DMC. Okay. Oh, okay. So I what do you know. think you'll do? I don't know. Will you go for the silk? Maybe. I don't know. I never. I don't have. I don't. I don't have an MPI. I don't have mm. any MPIs. Yeah, I, I think go for nice. I think go for the silk. Mm -hmm. It is forty count. You yeah, know? it's not that many. Not that many um, yeah. MPIs. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Okay. I'm, I'm down for this. Yes. Yeah. So yes, I'm going to keep it with MPI silks. It's been said. <laughs> and so now I have to be done. I know. Now I have to remember to make sure that I do that. <laughs> but thank you so much, Diane. This is lovely. This is absolutely lovely. Love it. Okay. And then um, my fabric from under the sea fabrics cage. Wait, no, that's not true. This is coloring cotton. You hold. You held up the. You realize you held up the back of the bag. I know. You know well, her nothing. I want my address. Her address is um, because I think color uh, under the seat. I see coloring cotton has a blue bag. Uh, that's her. I think that's her signature bag. On? Uh, well, uh, signature. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah, she's been using that one. Yeah. This should be interesting because I've got one too. Oh, I, you do. I'm doing my club a little differently. I want to see what the the regular folks are getting. I don't know what club I'm in. Oh, <laughs> oh, it is. Okay. I don't know what club I'm in. Maybe, what club are you in? I'm doing, okay, so I'm doing every other month, not every month. Mm -hmm. Any, okay, any count from 32 to 40, mm -hmm. any color. Okay. Wow. So I it's think what she has. But, yes. but this time I got 32 count, Dried violets. Me too. Oh, okay. That's pretty spot on. Isn't That's it? pretty color too. It's beautiful. So I, I think I'm I'm not in color because I had a I had a a samplerish color last mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm on any color thirty two mm -hmm. count. Okay. Every month. Okay. This is her September twenty twenty two fabric club thirty two count. This is a quarter yard. 
um, dry violets, like colored cotton. I like that it comes all surged. I, I fell in love with her at 2019. Sorry. Yes. StitchCon. Mm -hmm. Yes. She, mm -hmm. she was there. Mm -hmm. And I joined yes. her club. And uh, I was doing every month, but now I'm doing every other month. Okay. I can use this for something. I can use this for something. I forgot what. It's a cool Halloween color. But it wasn't a Halloween piece, I yeah. don't think. Oh, I can use this for something. I don't remember, but I'll 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 figure it out. I can actually see a stamper. Yeah, you could. You know, yeah. a nice flowery one, sort of. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I forgot what it was. I gotta think about it. Okay. Okay. And then I received an expo. Ooh. Order. Ooh. This is from Top Knot Stitchery. Yeah, Top mm -hmm. Knot Stitchery. What I did was um, I ordered something from her, something from other people. But yes. I. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is the Autumn Garden Thread Palette. Oh! Yes! So I got it. <laughs> wow. So we have spruce right here. We have dandelion. We have terracotta and we have golden gully. Ooh. So cute. That and then of course, pretty. I had to get Sorry. the ink circles right, to go with it. Those are even prettier than they were in the picture. Yes. Yes. And it came with a little floss drop with the numbers, with the names on them. That's nice. Very nice. And then I got a hands-on design, the autumn basket. That was going on my list. Mm -hmm. Oh, I added two more things on my list. Okay. I added <laughs> uh, Fox and Rabbit, their thread garden. Uh-huh. Super cute. Autumn garden. Yeah. Uh -huh. they're all, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, another one. Mm. I don't remember. I have it written down somewhere. Okay. But yeah. So I got Autumn Basket. Hands on Design, which is not part of the Autumn Correct. Basket. Correct. But why not? Yeah. Like you can definitely. You could almost. Yeah. There you go. And then Ink Circles. Which is part of the Autumn Garden. Correct. Collection. Yeah. Very nice. Nice. She, she has, she has a DMC-ish, DMC-ish conversion. Where gully gully, <laughs> golden gully was go fish. Like, hey, there's Whatever. no way. <laughs> do what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, there's no way. Very nice. I, that's on wow. my list. The circles one is on yes. my list. Yes. Is that it? I thought I had more. That's it. Oh, and then I got a freebie. She sent me a freebie. Oh, nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's a nice little flower. Oh, and I can still you use the, it. Um, use this the with my freebie. Oh, okay. How about that? That's, That's nice. nice. Thank and you, okay. Top Knot Stitchery. Top Knot Stitcher Shop. Okay. Yes. Top Knot Stitcher Shop. Yes. yes. That's where I got those. Awesome. I'm happy. Okay, Deb, what do you got? Okay. Um, I had a couple of trips to the Cross Stitch Cupboard and picked up a few things. One of the things is um, she had a selection of different gauge needles. Uh, what are you going for? The cross stitch cover. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Edmar, mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys have talked about him before. Love Edmar. I picked up some 22s, some 24s, all, most of the gauges, just mm -hmm. wherever. Mm -hmm. to have them just on hand. Um, I, I, you see my shirt, Mischief Managed. I'm going to have that tattooed when I'm 80. Oh, boy. <laughs> I might push it back a little. We'll yeah. see. <laughs> and she had this one the first time I went. It was still there. So it's I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. Oh, yes. I love that. Yes. So I thought that was a good one. Yes. Also picked up, I, for years and years, I've been using Tacky Bob. Mm -hmm. I'm cheating on him now. I'm using Tacky Bill. Well, Tacky Bob went out of business. Right, right. So it's not really cheating, right? 
No, it's so, not. This is the one I got. She went from Bob, Bob to Bill. Bill. Bob to Bill. We, we all did. We, we all went from we Bob were, to Bill. I was just talking to the gals about the fact that um, it, it's not a CD case anymore. Mm -hmm. no. It's just a... So it's a little smaller, but it's adequate. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. And they're sticky on both sides. Yes. Yeah. So that was cool. Now, the other thing I've been doing is rating her older charts just because people are talking about different stuff. And I was like, huh, I think I'll do that. So I picked up one from Fancy That because it's Halloween y and it was real cute. It's. Um, mm -hmm. A 1996 um, uh, copyright, and it's witch. So it's the witch for 1996. Her name is Broom Willa. <laughs> it's number 124, and it came with the buttons. Um, now the buttons were called Just My Imagination. Mm -hmm. I are they uh, still a thing? No clue. No, no clue. idea. Anyway, I thought she was super cute. I went ahead and, oh, yeah. oh, and oh. I um, kitted up the threads. So they're very Halloween-y. Are those DMC? These are not. Oh. They're weeks. They're weeks. Oh, there's a lot of, whoa. They're weeks and they're gentle arts. Okay. That's a lot of colors. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow, for such a small pattern, no? Yeah, yeah, quite a, quite a few. She's it real, is cute. She's real cute. It's the way my hair looks if I don't <laughs> use, a, use a flat iron. <laughs> Every morning. Yep, yep, yep. And the other one I just picked up, so haven't had a chance to um, kit up. It's uh, La Dida. Mm -hmm. It's called Chrissy Nelson. And it's a small little sampler, I think. So I might just kit it up. And Try and start it this very month. pretty. Kit it up in um like in your stash, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And um that's pretty much it. Yes. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you. No okay, so guys, I was getting I was having a challenge in the last couple of, of retreats I went to with swollen ankles after sitting so long, stitching. And somebody in our group was talking about getting a little uh, blow up, like portable ottoman. I'm like, what? There is mm -hmm. such a thing? Of course there is. So I don't know if you can see this. Maybe if I, no, that's worse. If you can see the little tuffet that's sort of gray. So the bottom half of the screen. Yeah, there's like blue tiles above it. Mm -hmm. Do you have, um, did you did you buy it on a website or something? I bought it on Amazon. All right, so maybe we'll input their, um, the Amazon picture. Okay. This, is the, oh. this is the name of it. Oh. <laughs> that's the name of it. Homka. And so. Um, oh, this is it? That's how it comes. That's how small it is. That's Ooh. how it that's how small it is. It has a little cover you can put on it. If you don't want to get it Ooh, dirty. It feels nice. Yeah, it's it like, feels uh, velvety. Yeah. Like that full foam. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So then how do you blow it up? Well, it says you can, blow, you know, blow it up. I'm, yeah, no, yeah. I'm not doing that. Not happening. So this little sucker, believe it or not. This is it. Like you, you it's like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not like this. Yeah. That's it. This is it right here. Yeah. Boom. So this little thing mm -hmm. you can use, it's, um, you charge it up, you hit the little button, you put this where you would normally blow it up and it's inflated oh. in a couple of, a few seconds. Gotcha. Wow. And so, um, yeah. Nice. You bought that separate? I bought them have... separately. This is by Flex Tail Gear. Isn't this going? No, yeah. It's called a tiny pump, flex tail gear, and um, I, I was on. She always comes with the goodies. I was on Amazon. Yeah. It has several different nozzles, by the way. It has the kind that you can put like in an inflatable bed, mm -hmm. and um, other kinds of nozzles that fit in different kinds of mm -hmm. 
um, inflatable things. Bikes too? Can you can you um, do a bike thing? I don't I don't think so. I think but I was thinking about uh, pool toys, neck things. Oh, the neck pillows. Yeah. Anything smaller that's inflatable, pool toys, mm -hmm. um, but like a, a inflatable bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's, it was perfect for this and very compact and easy to travel with. Mm -hmm. So I can bring them to any one of the retreats and I'll ha have a place to put my feet Oh, up. so oh, all nice. of this, you can yeah. put all of this together. Yeah. All of it fits in the yeah. bag. All of it fits in the bag. Yeah, it's great. You're good to go. Yeah. You just charge up a little um, and Home. it charges quickly. Can we say the name of it again? Homeka. Homeka. We'll put the link in the description box so you can copy and paste it into your browser. Yes. Yeah, because I was really suffering um, mm -hmm. with, you know, they, it would go away overnight. I'd be fine in the morning, but by midday, if we were stitching, my ankles were like... And those um, hotel chairs or convention yeah. chairs. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I understand. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So that's me. Oh, okay. Well, I have a combination of Stitchy Kindness, uh, Sunshine Stitchers, <clears throat> and, and my investments. So uh, we have a, a wonderful thank you card from one of the winners of our most recent uh, giveaway. This is from Sally. Uh, we had some challenges getting Sally her winning chart, which we overcame. <laughs> and um, we persevered. Yes. We persevered. I will not be daunted. No. And uh, she gifted us several skeins wow. of Madeira silk floss. And this is kind of a dark blue, almost black, a dark blue, 1008. So we have s several packs of it. And I love Madeira. Um, silk. I have cotton and silk in my stash. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me tell you how to use it. Yeah, how to yeah, yeah work it off the thing. Pull yeah, you clip point. the end mm -hmm. and you pull it out. Yeah. 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 Nice. So we're gonna. Oh, divvy. it's made in West Germany. Yeah, we're gonna oh, divvy it up. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So thank you, thank you, Sally. Thank you. You can put that one in there. Yes, I will. That one is that. Um, so let me see. This they is all, a, they're all the same color. Yeah, it's all. It's the most saying. It's multiple oh. skeins, so we can divvy it up real easy. Oh, okay. So this week, because I want to new start this month, I've been working on kitting uh, Rebel Stitcher Designs Women of Honor. And as you know, I'm adding. I've added another band to add additional names to it. So here are the uh, floss colors for it. These are all classic color works. These are the floss colors mm -hmm. for it. But I, because I'm adding another band, I think we mentioned this before, I added another 100 stitches to the length mm -hmm. of the piece. And I didn't have a piece of fabric in my stash that was big enough that was in the right color range that I was looking for. I had a couple of pieces, mm -hmm. but I thought they were too light. Mm -hmm. And so yesterday when we were at the Cross Stitch Cupboard, I found um, 32 count vintage country mocha. I love Lincoln. And so you can put the floss in front of that. Boom, hold it. Uh, yeah, which I think is great. Boom, boom. Did you call it Vin Como? Vintage Country Mocha. That, I never heard that. Oh, that's from cool. Vicky. Um, <laughs> Stitch and Button. Oh, really? Yeah, I heard it from her. Vin Como. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I think, a wonderful. And this was my yes. other option that I found there. 38 count cloister cream in Legacy Linen. But it's too light for that. But we kind of like it. We're you all liked it. I, I think it's too light. I like it, but you know. Let's put the threads up against yeah. that so everybody can see. Yeah. I don't know. So we have the lighter color and then we have the darker, darker color. color. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It does look nice against that, though. I will I say. I like the golds against that. Yeah. But I don't know. It's up to you. Well, well but some of the yellows will blend it. No? 
I see. Well, not so much blend, but maybe not pop as much. Hold on, let's put that with that and then put that on top. Yes. Like, oh, we don't know. I'm just looking at this, which is a little bit darker, mm -hmm. and see how the gold is kind of mm -hmm. on the crown and mm -hmm. the corners? Mm -hmm. it, it's not... You think it's better on the cloister cream? I'm, I'm thinking almost. It's darker, but not too dark. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's it's, it's really up to you. Piece. It's a, yeah, I know. It's going to be a, a, a final second kind of which yeah. one I grab yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Both so, pieces are big enough to handle yes. it. So when you do your, your last band, are you going to put these in it to make it symmetrical? Yes, I will bring the border down. Completely. But but these oh, two, like the two things. No, not, I'm gonna. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna look through some of my books for sampler motifs okay. and select some sampler motifs. Oh, okay, good. For yeah. It. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because she hasn't been consistent. I mean, she didn't. No, no, she didn't. No. So uh -huh. I feel you I could. Have the yeah. yeah, yeah. Option to just, mm -hmm. add. but I will end in the same with the same verse. Yes. Ends in. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It says the most common way people give up their power is by thinking they don't have any. And that's by Alice Walker. So you're going to put that Walker. last. Yes. Mm -hmm. What what initials are you going to put in there? I think I'll put in my initial. Mm -hmm. I think so. A and the year? Maybe the year. The year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. So that was. So the fabrics is still were a choice. Purchased. Yeah, the fabric um, was a choice. Was a purchase. Was a purchase. And now also a choice. And now a choice. Yeah. Yes. I also purchased because um, I love the color, a thirty-six count affogato by Fiber on a whim. Yes, that's gorgeous. It's also a. Beautiful, it's more greeny. Yeah, it was too green for that. Mm -hmm. um, so I did buy a big enough piece for mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. but I, it was definitely a nice color. I have had it mm -hmm. in this, my stash. Yes. Mm, so, that's good. Um, yeah. yeah. Karen Owen, the owner of Cross Stitch Cupboard, has a carousel mm -hmm. with the needle point, Needlework Expo pieces that have come in. Mm -hmm. And so several of us were standing kind of, you know, twirling the thing. And, and I saw this. Now, I didn't have this on my list, but when I saw it there, I thought, why wasn't this on my list? For Expo? From Expo, yeah. Which one is Expo? Needle, it's the one, one that just, just last week. Was this, is this new? I don't think it's new. I don't think oh, it's new. Oh, you don't think it's new? new? No. Mm -mm. You don't think it was an Expo piece? No. What year is that? There's a year back there, right? 2019. Oh, so, oh it was an Expo. No. Oh, I thought it was on the Expo thing. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I, I thought I'd, I'd seen, seen it before. Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, it's Willow Hill samplings, and um, it uses uh, General Arts thread. So I don't know that I'll buy. That's Joe Robinette right here. It is so. <laughs> that's <laughs> Joe Robinette. It is so. Joe Robinette. Perfect. So I bought that. Nice. I love the blue pumpkin. I do too. Mm -hmm. I like the border. Mm -hmm. And the cat after the bird was just mm, perfect. Just the the teal pumpkin is a symbolization that someone is allergic to something in the house. Like when you put a teal pumpkin really? out for Thanksgiving, for not Halloween, for Halloween trick, or treating. Yeah. trick or treating, that means someone is allergic in that house. Someone is allergic to either nuts or whatever. Oh, wow. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think someone told me that. I think I, I heard I that, that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Tell also, from Fosu. Tell from Fosu said uh, hmm. Diane gifted. Uh, she beautiful. bought this at New Work Galleria a while back. Yes. Uh, and this is uh, Susan's sampler alphabet. Susan Greening Davis still stitching with, with Susan. Susan. And um, this is what it looks like here. Oh, is this from her? Yes. And this is what it looks like. And the banding is beautiful. Banding is absolutely Oh, that banding is gorgeous. Let me make sure I get it on the right side. There we it go. It has his name all over it. It does. Look at that. It looks Greek to me. Yeah, it does, Greek. doesn't it? Or Egyptian or something. Greek. Very pretty. Yeah. 
So, and she had the thread, the splendor thread to go with it. Mm. So, thank you. This is gorgeous. Diane. This is so pretty. Yes. Nice, 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 mm -hmm. nice. Thank yes. you so, so much. That is definitely. The splendor silk? Yes. Nice. It's definitely going into my soon to be started. Uh, my list is growing. Because next year, okay, so for No New Starts, they're changing the name to mm -hmm. no longer No New Starts, mm -hmm. but they will have um, different pathways, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to start. To start. Okay. So, so yeah. that's nice. Yeah. All right. I'm going to be starting stuff. I've been doing No New Starts since they started it, probably, mm -hmm. maybe, mm -hmm. at least two or three, way before COVID, anyway, mm -hmm. but... This year, oh. I did do a couple of starts. Yeah. But I had so many whips and nothing was getting done. Yeah. Were you getting them done after, like, when you started on your starts? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I did clear out quite a bit. Mm -hmm. This year is not as much of a finishing year mm -hmm. as in past years, but, eh, you know, some years are better than others. Yeah. Correct. Um, so, Diane also contributed to our giveaway box. Thank you, Diane. Plum Street Samplers, Hello Spring, and she has others that she's done, uh, and she will also um, oh, give us. Thank you. She can't find them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Spring. Uh, Erica Michaels, uh, Life is Better, Meow, and oh. there are a couple of buttons that came with it. That's cute. Oh, this is Meow the Merrier. Yeah. So it has little buttons right there. Uh, Queenstown Sampler Designs, Life is a Beach. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> this is one, two colors. Oh, I have a little crap on over. There's a Queenstown, Maryland. Yes. Oh. It's not that far from where I lived, actually. Oh. Um, if it's well, see, there was a Queenstown right across the, the DC Maryland border, right off Northeast, where South Dakota Avenue, not South Dakota Avenue, where Michigan Avenue went into. Is it Michigan Avenue? Or South, one of those two went into Maryland, and um, it was called Queenstown. So I think. Oh, so your 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 streets are named after states. So. It's when when Washington years, years, okay. when Washington D.C. was architecturally laid out mm -hmm. by Lafont, mm -hmm. he had the capital as the center of the city, mm -hmm. at, as the hub of a wheel, mm -hmm. and out mm -hmm. from the capital, in angles like the spokes of a wheel, mm -hmm. were the um, were avenues named for the states. Mm -hmm. And originally it was the, like the original 13 states, but I believe it may have gone beyond that. Mm -hmm. um, so... Because um, Michigan was there. Yeah, Michigan uh, Avenue, South Dakota Avenue, um, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, mm -hmm. Virginia. Um, so they all come out from the capital, yeah. like the spokes in a wheel. Mm -hmm. And the district itself is divided into four quadrants, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. Mm -hmm. So these avenues kind of come in at these angles mm -hmm. through what mm -hmm. was otherwise laid out as, as, a, as a grid, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> which, which is what created circles. Mm -hmm. we, we had traffic circles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was always fun. You could tell people who came in from out of town because they would hit a circle and not know what to do. Just keep going around. Just keep going around until they figured out how to get out of the circle. Yeah, I like sh Chicago's laid out in a grid. Yeah. President's names, state names. Mm -hmm. Then DC, you have letters in each quadrant. Uh, a, B, C, no J. And Why no J? Because I don't... I think that was... That, remember there was that time in the... Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Or was it... Yeah, there's an I street. There's no J, okay. and um, and then you go to one syllable names, mm -hmm. and then two syllable names. The further out you get, 
from the capital and you get to the end of the alphabet mm -hmm. is when you would go to second syllable, two syllable names. So you know exactly where somebody lives based on the number of syllables in the street yeah. name. Wow. And then the streets are all in number order, first street, second street, third street, and then you've got an avenue <laughs> that kind of comes straight through the whole thing. So if you meet a guy, you're like, oh yeah, I live here, and you're like, oh, that's too far because yours is three syllables. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I, I live in a one syllable that's right. area. <laughs> I'm not going to Quackenbaugh Street. <laughs> that's the Q and the yeah. third syllable, <laughs> three I'm syllable good. name Quackenbaugh. <laughs> wow. Peabody, okay. Peabody, you know, yeah. Um, so our friend Candy L also has contributed to our giveaway, and she's contributed in a huge way. Um, she has stitched several Mirabilia designs. Love so the she is those. contributing her completed Mirabilia design wow, charts. Wow, thank you. This is Lilith of Labrador. This is Mermaid of Atlantis. So we're going to have wonderful, wonderful... You finish this one? My daughter's doing that one. Oh, Colleen's nice. doing that one. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful um, giveaways the next yes. time. She's also contributed Spooky October by Luminous, okay, Luminous Fiber Arts. That's cute. As well as uh, Heaven and Earth Designs, Water Dragon, artwork by Ann Stokes. And this is gorgeous. Oh, 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 oh. That is gorgeous. It's only 42 pages. Yeah. Okay. But it's worth it. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's so cute! And her stitchy kindness um, uh, is um, some hand dyed silk from the Stitch, Stitch Me for, that we can divvy up. Oh, thank you. Oh, very pretty. This is gorgeous. Where's the whiteboard? We don't have a whiteboard. It's here, put it back in. Nice. Some reds and some blues. Thank very you. Nice. That's so very so nice. Thank you, everybody, yeah. for your contributions to our giveaway box. We love it. I yes. love it. Because, yes. I mean, it, it's very nice. It, it is very nice. Very nice. And it's, it's sharing the joy. And, and um, so, yeah. Yeah. We, we like contributions to the giveaway. And it takes the pressure off us because obviously we don't finish that much. We don't and finish that much. <laughs> I have. I need to go through my stash to see. Okay, because Candy, because Candy, um, uh, 614. the six one four is just like girl. You need to look through your stash. I gotta look through my stash to see. Like you know what? I probably won't ever get to this. I can mm -hmm. let it go. Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. will stitch with. Somebody will stitch this. Yeah, sooner than me. Yeah, and I can watch them. Yeah, and somebody says um they could do a wall, fickle stitches right now, fickle stitches. She'll do a wall, or they one of them will do a wall, a watch along. I like that. I don't instead of stitching oh. with, instead of stitching along, you you'll watch them. Do it. Yeah, because they, they, you know they do the progress pictures. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> a wall. I'm gonna start doing lots of walls. I don't understand. Watch along. <laughs> so you know, you watch the person progress. It's like you're stitching it with them. I don't understand where the wall comes in. Watch, watch along. along. Watch along. Instead oh, of a sound. sound. Instead of a stitch oh, along. Oh, 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 got it. <laughs> <laughs> a wall. Uh, yeah, yes. I was trying to see how she was getting pictures of what people are stitching to put on her wall. wall. <laughs> oh, oh, that's where I, I understand. Stuck. I, I couldn't I could not make that happen. Yeah, at all. Like, like that's weird. Yeah, yeah. like that she print the pictures and post them up like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm like oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 no, this is instead of you stitching it, someone, someone else, else stitch it. Yeah. yeah, I I can get that. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I definitely can get that. I've done a lot of pieces that way. Yeah. <laughs> Did we cover this? I no, she's not going to show that. Oh, 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 okay. No. My eye keeps going to this. This I'm going to talk about. Oh, my plans? These are my plans because, okay. Okay, because so this lady. Me. <laughs> Believe it or not, people, we're just getting the plans. Yeah. <laughs> How long this video is going to be? It's going to be two hours. It's going to be a movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so, we had to have an intermission. Yeah. <laughs> EJ was talking about. Um, 
Shadowing, doing a Shadowing in October. What day? October 7th. October 7th. Me and Laura, uh, Laurel Ann, she's okay. on YouTube, and everybody else, you too. Yes. We have a lot of people. So, I'm excited. One of my very oldest. Oh, you found it. One of my very Was it lost? oldest. No. No. <laughs> one of my very oldest whips. Yes. Is the very first Shadowing Mandela. Called the uh, the knot, knot garden. garden. Gorgeous. And I did not stitch on linen at this time, so I am stitching this one, and I want to say it's a 16 count, and it's okay. Ada guys, and I am doing queen stitches on Ada. What's a queen stitch? Let me sh show me the queen stitch. I, I I I I okay. This is a queen stitch. Wow. It has tons of beads, tons of um, Krynik, and I've been doing this use it with Aneda. It's a beautiful chart. It's a very soft Ada. Mm -hmm. It's super creamy mm -hmm. and soft. But it's an Ada. But it's Ada. So I am. I have to pierce. Yes. There's all kinds of specialty stitches on it. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Um, you yeah, see this? Look at the sharp. No, honestly, I, I haven't. Oh, nice. I've been using uh, tapestry needle. Really? Yeah. See, I'd have to break out that sharp point. Yeah. So a, a lot of chronic, a lot of. Um, oh, what's down here? More stitches. More. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've got about a quarter of it done. Now you know there's four identical yes. quarters, mm -hmm. and then there's a border of the. Um, there's yeah. gates and there's mm -hmm. other stuff. So I'm not that far along, but I figured EJ's idea and her friend of doing a shadowing in October is going to bring it back out. Yes. Yes. Let's yes. get it done. Let's get her and, done. Um, aside from mostly DMC, yeah. there's also some, um, what are these called? Fred Gatherer? Yes. Yes, um, let me show you, I'm one of them. I don't know why she did this, but it, no, this is Silken Colors, is mm -hmm. that Thread Gatherer? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It is, mm -hmm. yeah. Silken Colors, there's a couple. Nice. So, I have all the beads, I have all the Krynic, I have all the other Silken Colors. All the, does it have treasures on it too? Uh, does it have treasures? Oh, so you could do a chatelaine on, on um, I think it has treasures. Eight. Okay. Well, no one told me I couldn't. So, so you did. So that's I right. did. <laughs> and that's what you were stitching on at the